Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of WebTech Tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to download SuccessFactor application on your iPhone. To download SuccessFactor application on your iPhone, first make sure that your mobile device is connected to a stable internet. Once it is, open up App Store. In the search box, type in Success Factors and perform your search. Soon after you find the application that looks like this, tap on the Get button and begin the downloading process for the app. The Success Factor or SAP mobile application helps businesses bring HR closer to their employees so they can be more engaged, more productive and much smarter. Once the application is downloaded, you'll be able to see an open button. Give it a tap to launch open Success Factors or SAP application. Enter your company name, ID or your URL and go through the login process. How to sign up for Success Factor account? Open up a web browser to get started. In the web address bar, type in www.sap.com and press enter on a keyboard. You'll find yourself in the official web page of SAP, which looks like this. Click on the human icon at the top right hand corner and fill in the rest of the information asked to you in the text boxes. Enter your business email address in the first text box. On the next field, type in your first name followed by your last name. Enter the name of your company, select your country from the drop down and enter a valid mobile number. Once you do that, head over to the next field and select your department. Choose your relationship to SAP from the drop down and then click on this little box that ensures that you've read and understood the terms and conditions of SAP.com. Finally, click on the submit button and you'll now need to check your email. In order to verify it, open up a new tab and log into your email inbox. Open up the email that you received from SAP Universal and then click on the activate your account button. Soon after you do that, you'll be able to verify your email address and activate your SAP account. You'll need to create a password on the next page. Enter a password that contains at least 8 characters in it, which includes uppercase letters, lowercase letters, numbers, and symbols. Confirm the password on the next field by retyping it again. Check the little box to acknowledge that you've read the SAP Universal's IDs, terms of use, and click Submit. How to log in to SuccessFactor account? Open up a web browser to get started. In the URL box, type in www.sap.com and press enter on your keyboard. Doing so will take you to the official web page of SAP. Go and click on the human icon at the top right hand corner. To log into an existing account, you can click the login button on the right hand side of the screen. If you don't have an account yet, fill in the information in the text boxes and activate your account. After clicking on the login button, you'll end up in the sign in page. Type in your SAP Universal ID or your email address associated with the account and click next. Enter your password associated with the account on the next page. If you don't remember your password, click on the forgot password link and follow the instructions to reset to a new password. Finally, after filling in the password, click sign in. In order to log in to SuccessFactor account, how to change your name on SuccessFactor account. Open up your web browser to get started. In the URL box, type in sap.com and press enter on your keyboard. Doing so will take you to the official web page of Success Factors or SAP. Go and click on your profile icon at the top right hand corner. Also make sure that you are logged into your SAP account and once you are, click on your profile icon at the top right. From the expanded menu, click on manage my account and from the accounts tab, Select Personal Info. Click on the pencil icon right next to Personal Data and then enter your first name you'd want to change to. And then type in your last name as well if you want to change that as well. Go ahead and change your last name too if you want and finally click on the Save button and that is how you'll be able to change your name for your SuccessFactor account. How to change your email address on SuccessFactor account. Open up a web browser to get started. In the web address bar, type in sap.com and press enter on your keyboard. Now, also make sure to log into your SAP account and then click on your profile icon at the top right. From the options, click on Manage My Account tab and click on the Personal Info button on the left hand side of the screen. Now, click the pencil icon right next to Personal Data and then Go to the Universal ID email option. 
and click the drop down. To change to a new email address, click on add new email and enter the new email you would like to change for the account. After you are done, click on submit. Now enter the verification code that has been sent to your new email inbox. Go ahead and log into it first and open up the email received from SAP Universal. Go ahead and copy the verification code that you received and paste it in into the verification text box and finally click on verify email address. Soon after you do that, you will be able to see your email address change. Now click save to save your changes. How to change your SuccessFactors account's password. Open up a web browser to get started. In the URL box, type in www.sap.com and press enter. Doing so will take you to the official web page of SAP. Make sure that you're logged into your SAP account and then click on the human icon at the top right. In the pop-up, click on Manage My Account. Doing so will open this page. Now, click on the Security and Login tab from the left-hand side menu. Click the pencil icon right next to the Login Settings option and enter your current password associated with your SAP account in the first text box. On the next field, Type in your new password you'd like to set for the account and enter the new password again in the last text box. Finally, click on the save button in order to change to a new password for your SuccessFactor account. Now, you'll need to log in again. To get access to your account, click the login button and you'll be redirected to the sign-in area. Type in your SAP Universal ID or your email address and click next. Enter your password on the next field but make sure to enter the new password you recently changed to and finally click sign in. And now you'll be able to log into your account with the new password you just changed to. That is how you can easily change your password for SuccessFactor account. How to log out of SuccessFactor account. Open up a web browser of your choice. Also make sure that you are inside the main homepage for SuccessFactor. To log out, You'll need to click on the human icon at the top right and in the pop-up box, click on the log out button. Doing so will take you to the login page for SuccessFactor or SAP. To log in back again, click the human icon and follow through the instructions how to delete your SuccessFactors account. Open up your web browser to get started. Also make sure that you're inside the main homepage of SuccessFactor account by typing in www.sap.com and press enter. Soon after you do that, you'll end up in the official web page. Make sure that you're logged into your account as well and from the main home page, click on your profile icon at the top right. Doing so will open up an expanded menu, click on manage my account and click on the privacy tab from the left hand side menu. If you'd like to download your information or your account related information from SAP, then click on request data export button. After you are done with it, Scroll down from this page and click on Request Account Deletion. You'll be taken to the support page for SAP.com where you can simply go ahead and enter some of the details. Go ahead and type in the subject of your request. In today's video, since we are trying to delete the account, let's type in Delete My Account. Enter a detailed description about your issue in the next field and right under, click on the drop down and select one of the options that you are writing about, enter your company or your academic institution's name, select your relationship to SAP, select your salutation and then enter your first name. Now, on the next field, type in your last name. Inside the email text box, type in your valid email address associated with the account and type in your registered phone number on the next field. Enter the name of your city on the next field. Select your preferred communication method and enter the code shown right below on the next field. After you are done, click on the send email button at the bottom right and you'll need to wait for the reply from their end so that you can easily delete your account. That is how you can easily delete your SuccessFactor account or make a request to delete your account. I hope the tutorial was helpful to you. If it was, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. I'll be back soon with more videos like this. Thank you for watching.